The average employee in the US wastes three hours every single day at work. And this costs business owners hundreds of million dollars every single year. But what if I was to tell you that there's actually a way that you could be making money from this? The real opportunity that is right in front of us and the reasons why you need to take it seriously. This video is gonna move fast, so make sure you keep up, okay? Right now, there are companies in the US paying CAOs hundreds of thousands of dollars every single year. Now you might be thinking, what the hell is a CAO? A CAO or a Chief Automation Officer is a high ranking executive responsible for the selection and implementation of an automation strategy within an organization. Why wouldn't you wanna hire someone in whose main goal and job is to increase efficiencies by creating automations inside of your business? And with the power of AI behind it, this is even bigger. But there is one obvious problem with hiring in a CAO and that problem is, the average salary is $250,000 every single year. Now this obviously works for massive companies, big software companies and that kind of thing, but it doesn't work for the little guy. It doesn't work for those small to medium sized businesses. And you could even argue that those smaller businesses need these automation experts even more than the bigger ones. Let's face it, the smaller company is gonna have a smaller team. They're gonna have less cash to deploy into these different systems. And every single new client is super valuable to that company for their growth. So what is the solution? How can we solve this? Well, let's break down the model together. I'll show you how we make money at our agency, Unorthodox, and we're gonna be going through the exact steps that you need to take in order to get started today. Let's first look at the types of services that we could be offering to companies. Let's say that we offer a AI solutions to gym owners, so fitness centers, personal trainers. Well, we all know that the lifeblood of gym owners are new members signing up to that gym, but it's also ensuring that current members actually stay at that gym too. So with that in mind, we know that gym owners care about getting new clients and they care about retention. Those are the two main things that they're focused on. To get new clients is pretty straightforward. Maybe they could be running some paid ads. Maybe they have a good referral scheme. They've got good word of mouth going on. Maybe they're in a really convenient location and they get a lot of heavy foot traffic walking past their location every single day. Chances are the gym has some form of marketing in place. So that is the new member part covered for them. But what about the retention part? How do these guys keep those members signed up? At the end of the day, the gym owners and the workers at the gym only have a certain amount of hours inside of their day. And when they're spread thin, onboarding clients, doing check-ins, it's really, really difficult for them to actually do any more to increase their retention rate. You know, it's not as if they could be offering personal training to every single person that comes through their gym doors. But what if they could do that? What if they could deliver a personal trainer to every single person that signs up in that gym? And this personal trainer can give them workout plans, nutrition plans. He could even onboard them into the gym and show them how everything works. That is surely gonna provide so much value to these members inside of that gym. In turn, increasing the retention of those members. Well, this example that I just gave you is actually super simple. And the best part about it is you could be building it right now for a gym in your local area from the comfort of your sofa on your laptop. Imagine how powerful those bots would be for those gyms. The bot could take information like age, weight, gender, fitness goals, nutrition goals, allergies, emails, phone number, all these contact details, and then it can come back to that individual member and give them a personalized workout plan, nutrition plan, all based around the input that that member gave it. It would basically take preferences and all of that data and use it as a knowledge base and then it will give responses that are fully custom to those individual members. So this means we essentially have full customization options for these different bots and agents that we build our clients because the platforms that we build them on allow us to upload all of this data and teach and train our bots on specific questions and specific tasks. The bot then works around the clock 24 seven, it never calls in sick, it doesn't get caught in the rain on the way to work, never has a bad day, and it definitely is never caught stealing out of the cash register. So you can see where I'm going with this. this this is a much better option for that gym owner. How valuable would that be for a small business owner? Instead of having to hire in a full-time member of staff or multiple full-time members of staff in this case, they can now just plug in one simple AI agent that works alongside their business and helps facilitate this extra value to their members, increasing their retention rate. So I checked it out. According to the National Academy of Sports Medicine, the average personal trainer in the US is gonna cost you $40,000 per year in salary. 
and you've just built a bot for $4,500 setup fee with maybe a $2,000 a month management retainer. So that business owner has just saved over $13,000 every single year just by hiring in your bot. And the best part about it is that digital trainer that you just built on that chatbot has no limits. It isn't just capped at working with one person at one time. It can work around the clock with as many people as you like all at the same time. So you've essentially just hired in like 20 PTs for the price of one or half the price of one. And it doesn't just stop at chatbots. That is just one example. That keyword in CAO is automations, right? So what is an automation? The integration of artificial intelligence into automation processes to enhance efficiency, accuracy, and decision-making. Or to put it simply, it's basically building a system or a workflow that automates a task that would have usually taken a human a very long time to do. For example, I personally automate my short form content. So before I used to pay an editor hundreds of dollars to edit my short form videos. It would take me a long time to really click together and pick my pieces of short form that I wanted to use. But now all I need to do is upload to opus.pro. It takes my videos, it takes 10 minutes, it instantly cuts them up, it instantly puts subtitles on and it spits me out like 20 shorts all for the price of $50 per month. And it's insane, saves me loads of time, saves me money, happy days. But what about our clients? How do we help them? When they collect leads, they used to manually assign these leads to sales guys in their team, right? And if a lead came in on a Saturday, sometimes these leads wouldn't be contacted until the Monday or the Tuesday. And that is not good when you're trying to convert someone into a paying customer. So our automations help them with automated SMS and automated email, automated onboarding, all of that good stuff. And this helps nurture that lead and bring them into a sales team and essentially qualifies these leads in between too. But honestly, automations can be as complicated or as simple as you like. There really is no wrong or right way of doing them. But the easiest way to make automations work is to be able to fundamentally understand the basics of a company, how it operates, the pain points that they have, and then to be able to listen to that business owner to then see how you can provide a solution. Now, this may be your first time ever looking at or hearing about an AI automation. But don't worry because we have platforms like Make and Zapier that make it really, really easy to learn and test on building these different automations and workflows. And before you say, well, why doesn't this company just run these automations themselves if, they, if we have such easy access to these different platforms? Well, most business owners know that that is not the smart move. They don't wanna be spending three weeks learning how to use Zapier when they could just pay someone to come in who is already an expert at this. Chances are if they spent three weeks working on it, their business would suffer and it would just slow everything down. It makes way more sense to be hiring in the experts. And in this case, that's you. Honestly, if you feel like that is literally just a limiting belief. And as soon as you start getting on calls with these business owners and speaking to them, that limiting belief will disappear because you'll realize how valuable your offer and your services are to these guys. So we now know why this opportunity is so, so big. But what I wanna do in this video is also give you a clear guide and understanding of what you now need to do in order to actually get started with your AI automation agency. Now, I already have plenty of videos on this channel where I go into detail about building AI automations and bots. I even have a video where I literally show you how to start an agency with zero dollars to your name. So for the purpose of this video, let's dive into what you're gonna need in order to get your first client and to get your foot into the door with these business owners. Now, if you really want to maximize the chances for your success, with this business model, we've just opened up 200 spots inside of our private AI automation discord, which is called The Network. So for the price of a meal out, you can join and learn from industry experts and join a community of agency owners all driven to make this agency model work. So I'll leave a wait list link in the description of this video. It is going to be first come first serve. So make sure you're fast when we do go live so that you don't miss your spot. Okay, so once we're full, we're full. So what should you be focusing on right now when it comes to building your agency? Well, it's really important, firstly, that we understand the type of client that we actually want to work with. So the different niches that we're going to be trying to get into. Now, for some of you, this may be your first ever online business. And if that's the case, there is a lot of learning that needs to go into it. And you're definitely not going to get the niche right the first time around. But what I'm going to give you is the foundational steps that we look at inside of our agency when it comes to finding different industries that we want to work with. So here's what we look for. Does this niche have obvious pain points? If your target niche is gardeners, for example, it's going to be way harder for you to sell into those guys compared to a business that does all of their business online. You also have to ask yourself, is the market large enough? So is there enough leads for you to reach out to and actually get on calls with? You know, if you're trying to work with ancient 
ancient Egyptian tomb restoration companies. You're going to be banging your head against a wall when you've exhausted your lead list of four people, right? Like it's just not a big enough market. So there's no point going after them. Thirdly, we need to look at, are they easy to reach? Can you contact these business owners? Can you scrape their data online? Can you reach them online? Can you send them an email? We need to be able to do that. And lastly, do you even understand the industry? Now this isn't a must, but if you really understand an industry deeply and you know what's going on, it's gonna be way easier for you to sell into those different business owners because you basically know what the fuck you're talking about. And that is the key. It's gonna save you so much time having to learn an entire new industry if you already know one. So using those rules, we can now go out and we can find a niche. Now, like I said, if this is your first business, you do not need to worry about getting this right the first time. The main goal is for you to go out there and start testing, trialing different niches, seeing what works, see what you enjoy doing as well. And then from there, you can start to make more informed decisions once you've collected the data. Now, the next step we're gonna to wanna to look at is how are we gonna get in front of these clients? How are we gonna be able to contact them? And this is all in outreach. Now, I've made a full video breaking down the exact step-by-steps that you need to take to automate your email outreach, automate your LinkedIn outreach. And this is a really good way for you to just get a constant flow of potential new leads coming into your inbox. Now, funny enough, at our agency, we obviously talk a lot about AI automation on this YouTube channel, and we get a large amount of inbound traffic from business owners that want to work with us. So we're in a bit of a unique situation. On that note, if you're a business owner and you want to work with us, link down below, book a call. But in your case, it's obviously going to be different. So after this call, make sure you check out that outreach video that I made. It's going to solve all the problems. It's literally a step-by-step -step mini course on how to do it. So there's no excuses for not getting started today. But one of the best ways that you could get your first ever agency client is to reach out to your local network. I guarantee you right now, you know at least one person that has a business or you have a friend who knows a person that has a business. Why don't you reach out to them, start offering your services for free and just use them as a guinea pig. You know, it's just trial and error. You're just gonna work with them. You're gonna see what needs to be done. You're gonna do all the testing you need to do. You're gonna integrate some AI solutions. Maybe you're gonna build them a chatbot. And the best part is you're giving it to them for free so there is no rush there is no pressure you get to take your time and basically use it as a science experiment it really is all about learning and using this method is going to be the best way for you to start building up confidence in yourself and actually confidence in this business model and what you're actually selling in the first place at the end of the day what is the rush this business model is going to be around for a very long time and if you truly want to be an expert it's going to take you a long time to get there at the end of the day you are the new cao so you need to remember that you know i speak to a lot of you guys inside of our discord and inside of the telegram and i get the same question a lot of the time liam i don't know how to set up automations or chatbots and my answer to that question is literally go on youtube and watch some videos take your time research jump on voice flow or bot press start building some bots jump on zapier or make start making ai automations it really is that simple i can almost guarantee you if you really put in the effort for one solid month and you really put yourself out there you will land a call with a potential client if right now you're watching this video and you go and do that and you don't land a call shoot me a message because i will be amazed the key to anything in life is patience and especially with an ai automation agency if you can overcome your tiktoker brain and you can actually focus on something for more than a week you will literally win at this agency model eventually okay so you now know what an ai automation agency is you know why the opportunity is so big you know what you can offer you now know how to find a niche you know how to reach these clients and you also know what you need to be doing to see success in this. I truly believe in every single one of you watching this video right now. So the next step for you is simple. You just need to take action. Guys, go and make something happen in your life today. Go and do it right now. But that's all for me today.